We've all known that the Marvels was going to struggle at the box office simply because this movie has garnered really no hype. Every single teaser and trailer and poster they release has gotten completely destroyed online, but now we're actually finding out that the pre-sales for the Marvels are abysmal. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. Now, I personally have not been very excited for this movie, simply because it's just not interesting. They have not captured my attention with this film at all whatsoever, and I know so many of you also feel the same. The MCU used to be this glorious thing, and we got so excited for the films, but ever since Endgame, they've really stumbled with all of the characters that they have in the storylines that they have created, but now we're actually finding out that the Marvels is truly uh, sh going to struggle. I wanted to start off with this Deadline article. They're talking a little bit of Five Nights at Freddy's and movies like The Nun 2, but they're saying brands alone don't sell you need stars. It can be argued that part of the expected slowdown next weekend with the opening of Disney slash Marvel Studios' The Marvels stems from the studio's inability to promote the pick properly at Comic-Cons. Even if the strike settles this weekend, it's not clear whether the pick's cast will be able to attend the movie's fan event in Las Vegas this coming weekend. It would not be shocking if we see the Marvels charting one of the lowest openings for a Marvel Studios movie next weekend in November, with less than 70 million, lower than 2021's The Eternals, which was at 71.2 million, and the movie not is not only a sequel to 2019 Captain Marvel, but also a crossover for Miss Marvels, but the pre-sales for the Marvels are pacing behind that of Black Adam and The Flash. That is not good news for them, because Black Adam earned $67 million and The Flash $55 million in its opening weekend, but the pre-sales for the Marvels are now pacing behind that. That means that they are going to have under $55 million at this point in pre-sales. And I can't really say that I'm all that surprised. This movie has been surrounded in controversy, okay? These three lead characters are just not interesting. Monica Rambo has been in, you know, one project where she actually was important. Of course, that was WandaVision. We have Miss Marvel, who has been in her own series, which she shouldn't have got a series in the first place. And then, of course, we have Captain Marvel, who, yes, has had a few cameos in other MCU projects, and she obviously had the Captain Marvel film, but there's no way that these three characters combined are going to create this billion dollar hit. And that's probably what Marvel is hoping. I mean, Captain Marvel made over a billion dollars at the box office, which was, of course, a shock for everyone, but it's like they expect this movie to do the same simply because she is in it. They have, over the years, realized that people dislike Captain Marvel, and more specifically, Brie Larson, but at the same time, they still think that it's going to make them money I mean, maybe now, after seeing these awful pre-sale numbers, uh, they've lowered their expectations a tiny bit, but they've put a lot of money into this movie. I mean, the official budget is $274 million, which is insane, meaning they need to make over $550 million, roughly, to even start making money because films need to make double what they spent to get into that territory. So they have a lot riding on this movie being a success. There's no way that this movie is going to be a blockbuster hit, right? Movie of the year, like they've been trying to market it as. And we've also recently heard that early viewers absolutely disliked this movie. We've heard that it was, you know, middling, um, leaning towards negative. People just were not big fans of this film. They thought that it was, from what we heard, a little bit poorly paced. Uh, the action was really mediocre. So I'm not expecting uh, this to get rave reviews. I don't think we ever expected it 
get rave reviews though and of course because we're now hearing this uh people are laughing at the memes gifs everything under the sun saying things like the mcu's done for now the mcu is dead brie larson is could just not make this movie work um <clears throat> there's some people saying you know it'll probably be a solid movie but you have to consider that again these are three characters that really do not have a lot of hype behind them and you also have to keep in mind that we have the Hunger Games releasing only a week later, so while this movie is going to come out, it is going to face some serious competition in November. It is not going to have some very easy run, and, you know, I know the Five Nights at Freddy's movie has dropped off at the box office's 78% drop is definitely not good, but that is still probably going to go slow and steady at the box office, so there's a bit of competition there. I just don't see this movie doing all that good. But we also have to keep in mind that the estimates for this film have absolutely tanked. I mean, this was an article from only a couple of weeks ago, October 19th. They said that it was headed for a 75 to 80 million opening, which is, of course, roughly 50% lower than Captain Marvel's three-day. But now we're hearing that the opening is not going to be that high, that the opening is going to be significantly lower than that. Uh, we have heard that, you know, the estimate for domestic numbers, of course, because that is what we are talking about, is that it is going to earn, like, 60 to 65 so that's at least 10 to 15 million under those numbers from only a couple of weeks ago and uh you know i just don't see a way that they can save this movie right i don't think that there's good marketing that they could put out or interviews that they could try to push out before the release of this i think unfortunately for marvel they have once again created a product that nobody wants nobody asks for this nobody likes these characters except for the few that are like brie larson stands um but besides that this movie really has nothing going for it the cat posters i gotta be honest i thought that the cat posters were kind of cute but uh they were not really all that well done the photoshop in them was very poor but i thought that it was kind of cute i'm sorry i bought into that uh but i think the rest of the teasers and the trailers have been really mediocre and from what we have heard from the leaked plot uh that seems to be real this movie has nothing going for it, right? In the film, spoiler alert, potentially, according to the leaks, they try to kind of turn Captain Marvel a little bit into, like, this anti-hero where there's a lot of people that dislike her and her actions affected the Kree, um, but she tries to redeem herself in the movie. Monica Rambeau, it honestly sounds like she's just kind of there, like she doesn't even really have that much of a plot, and Miss Marvel is basically Captain Marvel's double, right? She's like the younger version, she looks up to Captain Marvel, she thinks that she's like the coolest woman ever to exist, and that she's awesome, and it just does not seem like it's going to be a great film. Um, because I'm a content creator, I will watch it, I'm dreading it, I really don't want to, but unfortunately for Marvel, it looks like this film is going to be a complete and utter nightmare for them, and pre-sales are reportedly pacing behind Black Adam and The Flash, and I can't really say that I'm all that surprised. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.